Leviathan here. I've always considered the McLaren 650S to be a budget hypercar. I know this sounds like a complete contradiction as hypercars are hyper in every single category, including price and performance. And that's definitely not where the McLaren is at. However, the McLaren does have three distinct hypercar features, and that is carbon fiber monocoque, crazy doors, and active aero. And I was very curious to find similar technologies that had incredible performance at a budget. Which brought me to the Pocophone F1. So let's review this phone. Before we unbox and review the phone, let me just start with some context. I have a one-in-one-out policy, which means that I usually use my devices till they function no more. In fact, right now I have a Samsung Galaxy S6, which no longer functions as a phone. The microphone doesn't work, the speakers doesn't work, the camera is broken, however it does operate very well as a media player. However, with a very diminished battery life, I'm lucky to get 20 minutes. So because of that very reason, I decided to switch to the Pocophone F1. And yes, this is in fact still a car channel, but I do want to share some cool gadgets and technologies that I get my hands on. And I was very excited to try the Pocophone F1 by Xiaomi. While it may be overhyped, it is definitely underpriced. Let's start with the criticism. Its build quality is not the best. It is plastic and does not have the premium feel as an iPhone. That being said, however, let me show you what a glass back phone looks like after about two years. So the plasticky thing may not be that bad. There are also some software issues like not being able to stream Netflix in HD, which according to Xiaomi may be fixed through a software patch. And while it is called global, it may not operate the best in North America. If you can't get over those three issues, then the Xiaomi is probably not right for you. If it's not that big of a deal, let's take a closer look at the Pocophone F1. Here it is. Let's start by reading some of the specs. It has a Snapdragon 845. It has liquid cooling. It has dual camera and it has a 4000 milliamp battery. And the version I have has 6 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. Interesting fact, in 2017, the average RAM that your computer had was around 7 gigabytes. And two years later, we have it in our cell phones. So this is the global version. Nice box. And there we have it, the Pocophone. So yes, the build quality is not the best, but if you do want something which feels a bit better in your hands, there is the Armored Edition. Overall, I think the feel is great. I really like the weight of the phone. I do find that there is a bit of a chin and it has a fairly large notch. I haven't actually used the phone yet and I'm gonna test out some of the features. So first, I have to go through the privacy policy, which is actually a bit alarming. Normally, you only use information for the purposes it was collected. However, in reading the policy, it has many more uses. I guess at least they're honest about it. So I've been playing with the phone for a few minutes. What are my first thoughts? Well, it's great. And that being said, I really don't use my phone for that much. There's just a few things I care about. Battery life, camera, and speed. That's it. And I'm not the type that is constantly addicted to my phone, nor do I need my phone to replace my PC. My PC is my primary device. It does not have the stock Android operating system, so it does take a little bit of getting used to. But we're gonna first go outside and test the camera. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, this looks incredible. I don't know what's better, real life or the camera. Oh my goodness. The detail, holy. I know that was not much of a detailed review, but from the perspective of your average phone user that really only needs a few basic features, it's phenomenal for the price you pay. It does everything that I needed to do and it does it very well. 
I know there are some people that use their phones as their primary device, but I'm honestly not one of them. I actually try and limit how much of my phone I use. I just find it to be a complete distraction. Don't get me wrong, the phone is an incredible tool, but these days I think people are going through some sort of addiction. I personally want to use my phone as little as possible. When I get myself focused on a task, well, I don't like to have anything distract me from that task. It's like if I was kiteboarding and I stopped to check my phone, it takes away from that experience for no real reason. So there you have it, that is the Xiaomi Pocophone F1. Thanks for watching, until next time.